The crane kick is undoubtedly, unarguably, the most famous move in all of martial arts. And yes, it is a movie move, but today we are going to learn how to do this move in real life from the man who used it to knock out Randy Couture, Lyoto the Dragon Machida. In our karate program, we did, but it was the same thing where we go boom, bang, yes. and then we switch it. So as I saw it, I was like, that's, I, I know how to do that. <laughs> Would you mind teaching it for us and kind of like the thought process behind why it works? So, Tobigiri, my Tobigiri. As you know, lift the knee, go one. They point the knee toward to my face. Okay. And now it's gonna jump with the support leg. The same leg that the jump is gonna kick. So go one, go two. Gotcha. Don't worry too much about the back leg. Yeah. Back leg just gonna hit. Hip turn. Yeah, hip turn. Because if you lift this leg too high, it's gonna take time. The it's, fake character. It's just walk. like any other feint. Like yes. you don't want to make it too obvious. Short and fast. When you hit the guy, you have you should use the ball of the foot. The ball of the foot. Okay. Because people they think that I use my toes. Your big toe, yeah. No. If yeah. I use my toes, I'm gonna break my foot. Oh yeah. For sure. And so, also not the whole foot, not the whole solo foot. Okay. Should, should I please stay here? Yeah, I'll you. let you get kicked instead. Yeah. <laughs> if, 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 if I use it, the whole, that's gonna happen. Yeah. But if I use it, boom, just it. Yeah. I can go deep. So you, you can train different ways, this okay. type of kick. Okay. But as you said, it's very dangerous if you try to apply it during the spine training. Just to apply the direction, the strength a little bit, not too much, because he's not able to hold it so tight, so yeah. strong. Now, we're gonna do a more complete drill. Every day we're gonna punch in this hand, Okay. then we're gonna kick in the other hand. So, up, uh, get up, get up, then we get up, up, defend. Kick. Like when he, because he kicked, but when, but when he realized, that, oh, this is gone. Oh. oh yeah, that's actually a great point. What was, what was that moment like? Yes, you know, because I'm very sensitive with my food. <laughs> he as knew me. As, as soon as I, I noticed that the, the, the technique was like, Done. Yeah. It's done. As as you made contact, yeah, you were like, like there's contact, no. Made contact. I said, hey, it's too. I know my leg is too strong when I hit the guy. You yeah. Know? Especially in the, in the face, on the face. If I hit you on the face. Yeah. You, you game, just know. Game, game over. That's <laughs> so cool. First of all, I fight as a southpaw, and my opponent usually they are orthodox. Mm -hmm. I like this style because I can hide my kick. Because if I'm here and I keep with this leg, mm. he's gonna be able to see my. But if I put here, my kick gonna come through here, so he's not gonna be able to watch. Especially yeah. if his position is like a box guy, bend a little bit. Yeah, right. And and what was interesting about that is you mentioned he could see this one. When you throw this technique that way, he's looking at this one. And of course, I relax a little bit to like move his attention away, mm -hmm. move his attention away, then I Go. throw my kick. So what, what is, the point is, when you try to do your kick, you have to find the right time in mm -hmm. the right distance. Yeah. Absolutely. That's gonna make your technique very effective. That's karate too. The perception, time and distance is the main tool of karate. Mm. <clears throat> okay. So, was it like a fight plan thing? Because he's a wrestler, right? Let me tell you what happened. So, my father, he's, uh, he used to be my head coach in Brazil when I was in Brazil. Oh, that's cool. He said, Lioro, for this fight, we know that Randy Couture is a veteran fight. Mm -hmm. He yeah. had a lot of fights under his belt, very experienced fight. Mm -hmm. So, we have to surprise him with a different technique. Yeah. The crane kick is not going to expect. Right. So that's the kick. But he didn't say crane kick. He I'm said, <laughs> yeah, he said the tobigiri, my tobigiri, okay. which means like flying front kick. Okay. Like Got crane it. kick. So he said, Lioro, let's train that. And Glover, 
Okay, yeah. Love it to share. Yeah. Love it to share. He, he, he. Congratulations. Yes. yes. And I started training apart with my father in mm -hmm. the morning, early in the morning. And when I sparred with Grover at night, I was trying to use, mm. like, out of the Sunday, I throw the kick. Yeah, right. And I could hit him, like, twice yeah. in training. Yeah. Different days, of course. Mm -hmm. But I almost broke his teeth. <laughs> You have to do this kick, Grover told me. Yeah. This is this work, man. Yeah. You see twice, you hit me. <laughs> but I think as karate teachers, mm -hmm. we cannot focus too much because otherwise you're gonna get nervous, you're yeah. gonna have like nerve wracking. You can't force it. You can force the situation. Sure. You're, let it happen, man. Mm -hmm. Let it happen. You're gonna find the right time. Yeah. Then you're gonna apply the queen kick. That's what happened. That's really cool. I, I remember my father getting the order to do only the solo drills, a lot of fundamentals. You order to do one. Yes. I was and my father correct. No, lift more your knee. Yeah. Centralize your knee and do the right direction. Yeah. Many, many times every day. So before the training mm -hmm. and after the other training, drills. my father made the, do the drills, a lot of repetition. How incredible is that, that it worked out the way that it did too? Yeah. If you look at these moves side by side, they're obviously different. However, they have more similarities in purpose than you would think. I don't think Lyoto's leg, oh, I should have asked that question. Dag nabbit. I wish I would have asked him if his leg was hurt. Oh, that would have been so funny. Now, while the purpose in the Karate Kid's crane kick was to simply get off of his injured leg and fight, the Lyoto Machida crane kick kind of had the same intention. The goal was to deceive. The contact point with the foot and the target are exactly the same. We're talking ball of the foot to the face. The reasoning behind this kick in the choreography is like, it makes a ton of sense. Uh, and, I, and I think this kick specifically was done by like Daryl Vidal. Now, the main difference that you're gonna see in these techniques is obviously like the super over exaggeration and the animalizing of this technique. Like, showing the wings and pulling up the knee for it to be seen. You are still pulling up the knee, however, it's more so in the hips and the slight movement. And that's what a feint is. A realistic feint is kind of just a slight movement that shows things that you've done in the past, like a cross or maybe a back leg front kick. Pretty much what you're doing is trying to sell the fact that you're going to do something else. Sometimes the element of surprise is just as useful as a good feint. So while maybe he didn't throw this back leg front kick to make Randy think, oh, okay, I'm gonna make sure I catch this kick. Or in William Zapka's case, he had no idea what was going on. In both circumstances, they didn't necessarily set up the kick with a bunch of front kicks that led to a good feint. Daniel didn't stand like this a bunch of times and then kick with his front foot. The other than the super over exaggeration is going to be which foot was kicking and which foot was deceiving. For Daniel LaRusso, he deceived with his front leg, jump, switch, and kick with the back. However, for Lyoto Machida, he used a fast-tracked version, which is gonna be ultimately what works. He fainted with his back foot, switched his feet, and kicked with his front being the closer foot. If he would have pulled up his front leg and kicked with the back, it would have taken longer to get there. It would have been a slower target. He wouldn't have been able to kick up as much. He would have had to kick forwards because it's his back leg. While the crane kick from Karate Kid is seen as this unrealistic move by most people who don't take martial arts or a lot that even do, it's proven to have worked. Kinda. Here, here's the thing. If you don't subscribe to all these links for them that I have down below, I will kick you. Bye! <laughs>